Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video we're going to be going through the FortiGate web filtering, specifically the FortiGuard web filtering category. We're going to do a quick lab scenario to demonstrate this feature, so let's get started. So we're going to start with the lab and in this lab we'll go through the uh, FortiGate web filtering, uh, specifically the uh, FortiGuard web filtering. So let's go ahead and create a web filter profile and that profile is going to block the uh, social networking categories. So you have a list of uh, 40 guard categories base filter and any website that would belong to the uh, social networking we're going to be blocking that website. So let's find the social networking by default it's allowed going to switch it to block. Now you'll be asking how does FortiGate know the um, website category? So when the user would send the traffic um, browsing to facebook.com for example and the, 40, the traffic is going to go to the FortiGate, FortiGate is going to send a rating request and in that rating request it's going to be sent to the uh, FortiGuard. In that rating request there's also um, a value. Now based on the FortiGuard labs uh, the FortiGate is going to find out the categories of that website and once it finds out the category of that website is going to either block it or allow it or monitor it based on the action okay now before it sends the rating request there is actually a web filtering uh, cache FortiGuard web filtering cache dump so um, I'm gonna close this I'll open a new one so let's do a diagnose web filter 40 guard cache dump so cache is not enabled because I don't have any um, web filter profile uh, applied on any of the policies that I have but I'll show you in a minute but before it sends that rating request is gonna check the cache to find out the website categories and this caching is to speed up the process and reduce the you know amount of traffic sent to 40 god so social networking here is blocked click ok and i'm gonna apply it to the lan to internet firewall policy okay now we're going to test the traffic. Before we test the traffic, I want to show you the FortiGuard Labs and the web filtering service in here. So this is the web filtering. You can uh, look up the website category in here. For example, facebook.com. It belonged to social networking. And you could see the major web filtering categories here on the FortiGuard. And there is also test pages that you could use to test uh, the if this uh, website you're browsing to or a category is blocked or not okay um, like social media or social networking you can click on that and test the web page but I'm using my personal computer so um, I'm not going to be using this to test I'm going to go to the user John machine and test uh, anyway wanted to show you this now on the 40 gate there is also a predefined or set uh, so if I want to get the um, web filtering category get web filter categories I can find the uh, web filtering categories on the 40 gate so um, the categories number for social networking would be let's see I believe it is 37 yeah social networking is 37 okay so let's go ahead and test uh, browsing to facebook.com so again when you browse to a website the 40 gate wants to know what is this website category okay based on this numerical value so it's sent to 40 guard 40 guard replied to it and it, it will, uh, the 40 gate will find out but before that it will check the cache but right now we don't have any cache as we checked 
So I'll go ahead from John Machine. I'm going to browse to um, Facebook. Now, when you use the web filtering, it's important to have the user machine web browser cache uh, cleared out, you know, and also test with incognito. So this is facebook.com. This 40 guard uh, intrusion prevention is blocked, web page blocked, and you can see the category is social networking. So the 40 gate found out that this website, facebook.com, refer belongs to the uh, social networking and social networking is blocked on the 40 gate. So if I do the cache dump again, I could see it has a cache now of the facebook.com. The first two digits is hexadecimal in here and you can transfer it to a decimal. So it's 37, which is the same uh, category that is that we checked earlier in here. Social networking is 37. So it found out the category of the website and based on the action that we have on the policy and the profile, it is blocked. Now, the next time I would browse to facebook.com, the FortiGate does not need to send this rating request to FortiGuard because I already have it cached in here. And the cache timer would be web filtering cache 60 minute that you can change if you want. All right. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the log. So this is the web filtering log and we could see that user John, um, which is part of the domain controller browse to the social uh, networking and it is blocked by policy ID 3 and the category is social networking and says URL belongs to denied categories and policy okay so this is it for this uh, video I hope you guys learned about the 40 gate 40 guard word filtering categories We'll be having also other videos about the 40 guard categories, like the communication between 40 gate and 40 guard. Also, more uh, about the um, debugging. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.